we are ready to get into the new patch notes. Let's see what we got. All right, so. Ooh. <sighs> so we got a lot of new content for a three hour main. We have a brand new area. Mm. Uh, continuing on from our expansion into the Crone Castle, mm -hmm. which was still in Belenos, uh, right beside Ilya. Same it's, territory. Mm -hmm. It is the same territory, but it was a brand new region, and with that came the, the Norse gloves. We are expanding on even further. Well, with Medea coming in, it's not really a nation of sorts per se. Mm. It's more like a merchant guild kind of centralized themselves here. And um, with here, we have the major city here is Tariff. Mm. Which is the home of Irene. Oh, this is the home of Irene? No, 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 no. Sorceress. Oh, it's the home of the sorceress. Technically. Who's Irene? No, 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 no. Wait, Just, I, wait okay. No, there's no Irene. I, there's no Irene. Are you, are you reminiscing about I, an Irene you knew one I, day? I, I did not know. I did not know of an Irene. You know, you get to see the new hunting grounds. Um, you get to also see the new CP requirements for these hunting grounds. Can you uh, explain a little bit more woo! about that? Yeah, I mean... Right now, I'm at about 2,800 CP. Last oh, time that's I was, not bad. La last time I was streaming, yeah. I was at 2,500, right? And uh -huh. I got up to about 2,800 now. Mm -hmm. uh, I will not be able to hunt in most of these regions right now. I am so, so weak because uh -huh. uh, this new region of Media is going to be so high in terms of CP. Hazra Ancient Ruins is, is the region I remember mm -hmm. with the highest CP requirement. This exceeded 4.4K CP. How do I even get to 4.4 KCP? Is that even possible? Do we have people at 4.4? I don't think I don't think we have a single user in Black Desert Mobile right now that's 4.4 K. Is it 4.3? I I remember oh, wow. that's 4.4, but 4.3 it doesn't matter. I can't go in there without mm. making a peep. I mean, it's gonna be the case with most people. Just like Chrome Castle, there will be new availability of red items that you can loot uh, from these mm. regions. Be sure to check on the details of each area to see what item availabilities are there. And a nice little tidbit of information. Okay. Gaiseric is an actual person's name that's in the lore of Black Desert. But it's a new area, and so that must lead to something, no? Whoa! If there's nobody at 4.3k, how can you go to a 4.3k region and play the game? How, how is this possible? That moves on to the next slide. Woo! Character level cap. Finally, we're out away from 55. Woo woo! Yes, there will be a level 60. Level 60 oh, is the finally. new cap. Mm, mm. You know, naturally, with each level, your CP goes much, much, much higher. Going from 50 to 51, for example, is right. going to be very, very different from 55 to 56. Ah, I see. So it's Damn. a much more yeah, bigger jump. higher increment. Now you guys see some of the reasons why you will eventually go up to the to the 4K realms of CP. I don't know if I'll ever get to that. That is still so, so high. But at least you know that there is more room for improvement now. So mm -hmm. level 60 will be unlocked after today's update. Yep. So, and if that's not enough to get you into the 4K realm, mm. we have this. Yeah! 35 has opened for all gear. Of course, this is different uh, based on the class of your gear. Uh, I think purple items will not go to 35. It's, it's, I think it was capped at 25 to begin with mm. uh, for purples. I think that would have won up a couple of notches. But uh, for the yellow, for the orange, and if you dare have the reds, uh, you, you're, yeah, if you're if you're at plus 30, you will be able to go to plus 35. You can do that with your black stones that you currently have, and mm -hmm. uh, that will also be able to increase your CP to get you closer and closer to hunting in the the, the much harder uh, realms that we opened up in Media. But we don't stop here in terms of giving you guys access to higher CP and how to get to the higher CP. Mm -hmm. Originally, we only had black stones to move on to the next enhancement. Uh -huh, we uh -huh. have a brand new system that is not the, your ordinary Blackstones. Here it is. Force Enhancement. <sighs> Woo! This is a topic that I would love to discuss, but yeah. I don't know how much I would actually be participating in this. It's a very, very expensive enhancement system. But if you do get it, it can be the most efficient one. Of it all. could be. Especially in the higher levels, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. It is available from plus 20 and onward. So you can use these to, boom, one chance at advancing your enhancement. 
Well, you don't have to be holding that button down. So this is where the real chance factor comes in. Yep. And it costs a lot of money to enhance one time, 200,000 silver each time for a chance to completely up uh, your weapon and your armor to the next enhancement. It says keeps the gears enhancement EXP. So basically not EXP, but more like, you know how you have a percentage with your Blackstones, right? Mm. So when you enhance with this, yes. and you get, you actually get your enhancement successful, mm. you still have a percentage. Yes, so let's explain that just for a little bit. Mm. Let's say your weapon is currently at 25% at plus 25, for example. All right. To get from plus 25 to plus 26, mm -hmm. it takes a certain amount of Blackstones. Just right. talking about Blackstones. Just purely Blackstones. Yeah. But, mm -mm. going from plus 26 to 27, mm -hmm. it's not the same amount of blackstones. No, it's it not. It takes mm -hmm. much more blackstones to get there. Mm -hmm. So, when you're at 25% and you're using this black crystal weapon mm -hmm. and to go into force enhancement and you succeed, mm -hmm. you're not going to be at 26, 25%. No, no, no. It, you, it you, started on, you started out at 25, 25%, but once you go to level 26, the amount of blackstones used for plus 25 is different from what you can get for plus 26. So it will drop a little, but it doesn't mean that you lost XP. So mm. for a lot of these guys that will be using force enhancement, you guys will be complaining to us, I lost a lot of EXP when I went to the next level. That is not the case. You have the exact amount of raw EXP. The percentage dropped because going from the next level to the next level is a lot steeper. So the percentage may change, but the number of blackstones that are on Mm. That equipment exactly. is exactly the same. It has not changed. So you're not losing anything if you actually succeed. So you don't have to worry about that. Force enhancement. Uh, and in addition to the enhancement, is the, another way that you guys can get to the next level. But there is another source of CP that you guys might have realized in a very, very niche content. But now it's going to be expanded. Uh, the system has been very, very... It um, is... Relic? It is going to be relics. I don't think anybody even knows what that is. Well, why is that? Cause you know, you actually have to go. You know, is you start off in Velia, right? And uh -huh. you have to go to Igor Batali. Uh huh. Then you rent a relic for about a uh -huh. couple of contribution points. Right. But who would spend contribution point on a relic where they can spend it on you know a better worker mm, at the right. camp, right? I think most people kind of ignore this content initially, mm -hmm. but this relic system has been completely matured and now is completely able for you guys to take advantage of. If you're very much about personalizing your stats, your damage, the kind of skill sets that you're using, then the relic is what you really want to focus on because to get that perfect relic. Sure. Mm. And right now, uh, the relics that you see right there is going to be the most common relic you'll be able to mm -hmm. attain with the blue class. Okay. But purple class is definitely not impossible to obtain. I think it's pretty accessible mm -hmm. if you do get lucky every now and then. This is one way to get better relic and that's by using the Shakato exchange. So there's gonna mm -hmm. be an additional button below the, the gold coin shop. There's yeah. gonna be the Shakato exchange. Click on that and you can exchange your current relics to make sure you can get at a chance to get better relics. Why would you uh, exchange it for the same grade and type? Well, maybe you got a grade of a relic that you really like like maybe you got a purple and that's the best grade you have right mm -hmm. now and you're like but it doesn't have the right it's not the owl damage it's not the, the yes. different kind of stats i want on it so instead of waiting for that one faithful day mm. when i get another purple or another yellow you know if you ever get one right you could just re-roll so you guys know that that's one way to get it. Another way to get it will be through the relic fragments in there the cash go. shop. If you look the, at the tab right above relic, it says lightstone. You were able to autofill based on the fragments you were gathering while hunting, completing quests and all that. But now there's going to be the exact same system for relics. So we're okay. going to have relic right. fragments mm -hmm. that you can autofill um, to make sure you can get complete relic. Mm -hmm. And you'll be able to have a, a much bigger collection than you used to of relics you can uh, change up. That's the relic system that's now coming online after this maintenance. So that's another source of CP uh, because you'll be able to upgrade. You'll be able to enhance your relic if you have multiple one of the same type. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So going from relic that was just based at zero stats, uh, you can go to plus one, plus, plus two, two, at a maximum of plus five. I mean, if you're stuck with a whole bunch of blues and you have nothing better to do, I guess. I mean, if that's one thing you can be yeah, doing. Yeah, I guess so. I think the last thing we're about to show, in addition to the relic, it's a small change, I'm sure, but 
It's a new Bloodkin buff. Uh, if you look down at the bottom, it's highlighted as Combat EXP 5%, Attack 15, Defense 15 for Ooh. three members joining together. So there, there are two mm. two member party options, but there's also three member party mm. option. And that will be the end of our patch notes. So you guys can expect to see us the next time we're on maintenance. We're going to be here. I hope you guys enjoyed Velia in. We will see you on the next episode next week. Bye. Bye. Very early Christmas for all of you guys. Uh, it's uh, December 24th in Korea. I think everywhere around the world. Pretty, pretty much, much. Pretty much. Even in Los Angeles right now, it is...